Good evening, everybody. For weeks, we've been watching politicians in Washington going head to head over the government shutdown and the debt crisis. But if you thought Washington had the market cornered when it comes to dirty politics, think again. A political newbie in Anderson Township says his political aspirations have drawn some pretty creepy threats aimed at his wife and children. Local 12's Rich Jaffe is in Anderson Township with a story you'll see only on Local 12 News. Rich? Cammy John Piowitz is pretty much getting a political baptism by fire. Something as simple as planting one of these signs one morning early ended up with him having a comment from someone going by that a reasonable person would have to take as a threat. John Piowitz is a veterinarian. He specializes in horses. We caught up with him examining a filly at Turfway Park. While he's used to this kind of horse race, he recently threw his hat into a different kind of race, running for Anderson Township trustee. Piewitz got a bitter welcome to the game while campaigning in June. A, a gentleman walked up to me who I've never seen before and said, uh, so you're going to run for trustee, are you? And I said, yeah, I am. And he said, uh, you know, politics is really dirty in Anderson Township. And I said, well, I've heard that, you know, and he said, why would you put your wife and your children at risk like that? Then two weeks ago, I was putting out signs, had my old blue truck pulled over to the side of the road. A guy pulls up next to me in a four door gray nondescript sedan and says, hey, putting up signs, huh? And I said, yeah. And he said, uh, who's at home watching out for your wife and kids? And drove away. Robert Rack is one of the founders of a political analysis project called Beyond Civility. They bring politicians from divergent perspectives together in an effort to increase communication. He says our citizens and politicians are highly polarized right now. Parties, political operatives and activists have concluded for whatever reason that they cannot reason with those guys on the other side. You know, they're just, they're intractable, you can't, you can't deal with them, you just got to beat them. So that's created this situation where people have stopped even trying to listen. Now this would-be trustee says he's even more determined to make a difference, but he would like to know well, where the hatred come from. Is it because all of a sudden I decide to run or, you know, where is this coming from? And to Rack, the lack of communication means... And you end up you know, with, with ignorance and anger and it, it shouldn't surprise us that people that we might be hearing threats of violence in that kind of a context, but it should worry us a lot. Now, John Piowitz is one of five candidates running for two open trustee seats out here. However, he is the only Democrat. He did talk with Sheriff Jim Neal after the first threat. Now, after the second threat, Piowitz says he is not deterred, but more determined to run a clean race and stay in it until the end. In Anderson Township, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Cammie? All right, Rich, thank you. And the next Beyond Civility event will be Tuesday evening. It'll be held at St. John's Unitarian Universalist Church on Reeser Avenue. The guests will be County Commissioners Greg Hartman and Todd Portoon. Their goal is to have the commissioners open up about how their personal backgrounds shape their political opinions. And for more information, you can go to our website, click on that red Get It button.